All right, so this is page 24 in your workbook, just looking at an additional example for you for relative risk. Question number 37. A study on survival rates for particular disease one year after diagnosis was undertaken. Two groups were studied, patients less than 30 years, sorry, 50 years of age and those 50 years or older. So these are the less than category. Remember the pointy end always goes at the small bit. And these are the older. So we see those that died, those that survived, and there were 605 total. So from the study, what is the absolute risk of dying from the disease? So remember, absolute risk is out of everyone. So out of everyone, it's going to be out of 650. And what is the risk for this case, the probability of dying from the disease? So here they died the, the, from the disease, that's 215 out of 605. <coughs> and as a decimal, that's 0 0.3554. So again, that's the absolute risk for anybody that they die from this disease. So part B, what is the probability that a randomly selected patient under 50 years old, um, under 50 years of age, dies within one year of diagnosis? So under 50. And here we're saying that a randomly selected patient who is under, one fift under 50. So this is the out of. And this is basically saying what's the risk of somebody who's under 50 dying from this disease. So on the bottom we're going to put the out of, which is 320 total people who are under age 50. And those that died, that was 180, we can see up here, 180. So 180 divided by 320 should get you 0 0.5625. Part C. What is the probability that a randomly selected patient 50 years age of age or over dies within one year of the disease? So this is the randomly selected patient of that age group. So out of the 285 that were selected, we see that 35 of them died from the disease. So that's a 0 0.1228. Part D, calculate the relative risk of a patient under 50. So we want the relative risk here. This is going to be our relative risk, making those comparisons. Under 50, dying with one one within one year if she is diagnosed compared to that of a person over 50. So because I'm comparing it to the over 50 group, they're going to go on the bottom. So I use the risk from the over 50 group, which is 0 0.1228 on the bottom. So again, I'm comparing it to that group, so I put it on the bottom. And the risk for the under 50s, that will go on top. So 0 0.5625. Because these probabilities here, that's the same as the risk for the under 50, sorry, the over 50 there, and the risk for the under 50. So we take those two probabilities and divide them. We get 4.58. So now we have to justify what this means or explain what it means. So what this means to us is that um, patients under 50, so you can kind of talk in the same order that they gave the question to you, so we're talking about the under 50s. So patients under 50 are 4.58 times more likely, I'm using more because it's bigger than one, so it's going to be a more, so one time 4.58 times more likely to die from the disease within one year And then we need to compare, so compared to the patients 50 or over. So again, patients under 50 are 4.85, sorry, 4.58 times more likely to die from the disease within one year compared to the patients 50 or over. So try to be specific. I'm not just going to write down 4.58 times more likely, but who was more likely of what? 
and in this case of dying within a year if they're under 50 compared to if they're over 50 from the disease, so be specific on it.